Hello, my name is Einstein and I am going to be talking to you about electromagnetic waves. Please all move at the same speed of 3 times 10 to the minus 8 meters per second through a vacuum, but have different properties to each other. Let's take a look. Radio waves are the first wave in the electromagnetic spectrum because they have the longest wavelength of 1000 meters. Objects like planets that have a change in magnetic field can produce radio waves. The Sun, Jupiter and Earth emit radio waves called radio bursts. These are caused by electrons that have been ejected into space during solar flares moving at 20% of the speed of light. Radio waves are used for listening to your favorite song on the radio. Or for watching your favorite TV show. Microwaves have a wavelength of around 1 centimeter which is about as wide as your finger. They are the second longest wave in the electromagnetic spectrum, giving it a shorter wavelength than radio waves, but a higher intensity than infrared. Microwaves cause water in fat molecules to vibrate with it which makes them heat up and therefore cooking the food. This is what happens inside your microwave oven. Microwaves are also useful in mobile phones to transmit information, but these waves have very low power. Speed cameras and radar send out bursts of microwaves and detect the echoes bouncing off objects. This allows them to calculate the speed of the object or how fast it is going. Microwaves pass easily through the atmosphere, but overexposure can cause cataracts, which is the clouding of the eye's lens. Infrared has the third longest wavelength of about 10 to the minus 6 meters, which is a little bit smaller than the width of a human hair. We can see infrared waves, but we can feel them as heat. This means that these waves are a useful heat source, and so infrared lamps, which emit infrared radiation, are used for drying paint, wallpaper, and keeping food warm. Thermal imaging cameras also use infrared as everything emits it. The intensity of the infrared image shows up as different colors on the camera. This helps police catch criminals in the dark, as they show up a different color to their surroundings on the camera. Visible light waves are the only electromagnetic waves we can see. We see these waves as colors of the rainbow. When all these waves are seen together they make a white light. Cones in our eyes are receivers for these tiny visible light waves. The sun is a natural source for visible light waves and our eyes see the reflection of this sunlight off the objects around us. Visible light allows us to communicate with one another through books and signals and videos. Visible light's main use is photography. It lets us take still pictures and videos. Ultraviolet radiation is found naturally in sunlight. We cannot see or feel ultraviolet radiation. However, our skin responds to it by getting darker. Our skin gets darker in an attempt to reduce the amount of ultraviolet radiation reaching the deeper skin tissues, as the cells can become cancerous. There are three types of ultraviolet radiation. You know, UVD and UVC, and they all have different characteristics. UVD causes wrinkling of the skin. UVD damages DNA in skin cells and can trigger cancer. And UVC is almost all absorbed by the ozone layer so therefore has no real effect on you. And did you know that bumblebees can see UVD? Like but humans cannot. Ultraviolet radiation has many different uses. It can be used for sun tanning and sterilization of food. 
X-rays had a short wavelength of about 10 to the minus 3 to 10 to the minus 13 meters. They pass through healthy body tissue. They are absorbed slash stopped by metal in them. They can also cause ionization. X-rays are useful in medical imaging of bone fractures. They are directed at the part of the body under investigation. They are transmitted through the body. More dense areas in our bodies, such as bone, allow fewer X-rays for them so appear pillar on X-rays images. Less dense areas, such as skin and many tissues, allow more X-rays for these appear black on X-ray images. X-rays are used in CAT which stands for computer axial technology to generate a 3D image from a large series of 2D X-rays and to identify tumors. X-rays are also used in fluorescence. This allows doctor to see moving images of the internal structure of patients. It is often used to investigate problems with digestive system. Gamma rays have a very short wavelength of about 10 to the minus 10 to 10 to the minus 16 megahertz. Gamma radiation is a very high energy radiation, and gamma photons have about 10000 times as much as energy as the photons in the visible range of the electromagnetic spectrum. They can pass through many materials, including human tissue. They are stopped by very dense materials such as lead. Gamma rays are used to sterilize medical equipment as they can easily pass through medical equipment such as syringes. When they pass through the packaging, they will kill living tissue such as viruses and bacteria. They can be used in a radioactive tracer to investigate a patient's body without the need for invasive surgery. They are also used to kill cancer cells inside the body. They all have magnetic and electrical field gas perpendicular to one another. They are all transverse waves and so can be polarized. They can all be reflected, refracted and diffracted. They all obey velocity equals wavelength times frequency. Microwaves, infrared, radiation, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, gamma rays.